Before we get started, let's get some optional supplies. You can use pen and paper, pencil and paper, or a dry erase marker and a whiteboard. Don't forget the eraser! Our learning target for today and what we are learning is I'm learning to write uppercase letters. Uppercase letters. Another word for uppercase letters is capital and that tends to be the word that I use but just know that uppercase letters or capital letters are the exact same word. Okay, They mean the exact same thing. So a capital letter is important to know how to write because we write capital letters at the beginning of a sentence. So if we're writing the cat, the word the is going to start with a capital letter. The T will be capital. So let's practice and get started. We're going to go through this pretty quick. So make sure you have a pen and pencil handy or make sure that you pause throughout because I'm going to go pretty quick. So let's go ahead and get started. First letter that our alphabet starts with is the letter A. So let's go ahead and write the letter A. Letter A is big line down, hop to the top, big line slides down, up to the middle, little line across. Boys and girls, notice how it's pointy at the top? That's because we had to pick up our marker. We have to pick up our marker a lot with capital letters and not as much with lowercase letters. So big line down, hop to the top, big line down, up to the middle, little line across. Okay, if it's curved at the top, this is not how we're going to practice writing our letter A's. Okay, this is how we're going to practice writing our capital letter A's. They should be pointy at the top like a mountain. All right, capital letter B. All right, big line down, hop to the top, little curve to the middle, back out and little curve to the bottom. Now, sometimes this letter can be tricky. So as you're getting started, here's a little trick for you. Okay, once you start to know how to write your capital letters really well, you won't need to do this anymore. Or you might not need to do it at all. But here's a little trick that you can do if you're having a hard time, if your bumps are too big, such as like this. Okay, if your bumps are looking a little wonky, here's a trick. Okay, you can do a big line down and put a little tiny dot in the middle so you know where your bump needs to end. So big line down up to the middle a little dot right there to remind you little curve to the middle little curve to the bottom okay that way you know exactly where that bump needs to end okay that's just a little trick that you can use you won't need to use it forever um, and I don't want you to use it forever but it's good for when you're just beginning and you're starting to practice or you're struggling with that letter that is perfectly okay all right letter C is one big curve that's it. We start at the top and remember we want the opening to be over here because think about the way Pac-Man would be. Okay, they need to have their mouth open so they can get what they need. Okay, and when we move forward we go from what? Left to right. So big curve. Okay, make sure it's got a nice big mouth. Okay, a really big opening. We want it to get as much food in as it could. Okay, if you went like this Okay, I might be not be able to tell that that's the letter C. I might think it's the letter O. So make sure it's got a nice big mouth open, okay? All right. D. Big line down. Hop to the top. One big curve, okay? And I'm doing my best to make sure it's closed right here. If we go like this, I might think that you're trying to write the letter P. So try to make sure you get it as close as possible. You might want to rewrite it or you can use your pencil if it's got a little extra down there and just erase it, okay? E. E is big line down, three little lines across. Big line down, hop to the top, three little lines across. And again, if your E is looking a little wonky, okay, you can put a dot in the middle. If your E is looking like this, or you've got too many lines, or if it goes like this, okay, that's a little wonky. What you can do is put that dot in the middle just like you did with the letter B to help you remember where to go. Also, what's gonna help you is by saying these words as we practice them, okay? So you're saying it with me. Big line down, hop to the top, 
three little lines across. One, two, three. When you say that, that will help you with your writing. Okay. F. Big line down, hop to the top, two lines across. Okay. That middle one, just not one on the bottom. Okay. All right. G. There's a lot of ways you can do a G. Okay. A G can be kind of tricky. I'm going to show you two ways that you can do a capital letter G. Either is fine with me. It depends on what works best for you. Both are just fine for you to use. Okay, I'm going to show you one way to do a capital letter G that you do not need to pick up your marker. And then I'll show you a way that you can do that you do pick up your marker. So a capital G, one big curve like a C, up, in. Okay, and it is pointy. So let me go over that one again. It's like one big curve, little line up, little line in. Okay, here's another way you can do a capital G, and this tends to be the way that I do it. It's completely up to you. Both ways are just fine. It's just whatever fits your personality. Okay, everyone's a little different. Magic C, one big curve. And then instead of going up and in, I go out and down. Okay, either way's fine. Okay, capital letter H. Big line down. Okay, then another parallel line, that means it's close to it but not touching. Another big line down, up to the middle, little line across. Okay, it's kind of like a, a football. Okay, think football. Woo, score! Touchdown! I don't watch football. I'm not sure, so please let me know in the comments below what it's really called because I can't remember in the moment, but that's what it reminds me of, okay? So big line down, up to the top, big line down up to the middle, and a little line across. All right, capital letter I, big line down, hop to the top, little line across, down to the bottom, little line across. Okay, here's a common mistake or um, writing error that I see a lot of students make sometimes, is they write a big line down and then they go backwards. Okay, that's kind of hard to do when you're writing because you're moving, you're always moving forward when you're writing. You're always going from left to right. So when you write your letter, uh, your letter I, make sure you have your big line down and you start over here on the left, move your line over and down here, left, and move it over. Okay, it's just going to help you with your fluidity and as you're writing and you're moving forward. Okay, so start on the left and move it forward. Left and move it forward. Okay, J. Similar thing. Big line down, fish hook. Okay, and then left and moving forward. That's a capital J. Big line down and fish hook, left and moving forward. Okay, a capital K is just like a lowercase k, but this is the one that starts at the top. So big line down, hop to the top. Okay, all the way to the top. L little line in and kick out. Okay, that's a tricky one. That's just going to take lots and lots of practice. Okay, big line down, hop to the top, little line in, and kick out. Okay, an L, capital L. You do not pick up your marker for this one either, okay? You just move it across. Big line down, little line over. That's it. Okay, if you go, if you're picking up your marker, it just interrupts the flow when you're writing. So we don't want to do this. We want to go fluid. Big line down, little line over. Okay, M. Again, just like with the lowercase m that we talked about as well, this is not an M unless you're going to McDonald's, which, let's face it, everyone likes McDonald's sometimes, but we're not writing a McDonald's M. Okay, we're writing a capital M. And here's how you write a capital M. Big line down, hop to the top, slide down, climb up, big line down. Okay, they're mountain peaks. They're pointy at the top. There's no curves. Okay, you do pick up your marker, but how many times did I pick it up? Just one time. Okay, let's do it one more time because M can be one of those tricky ones. Big line down. Hop to the top, slide down, climb up, straight line down. Okay, all right, and same way except 
we just go straight back up. Okay, there's only one peak instead of two. Big line down, hop to the top, slide down, okay, and then just straight back up. Okay, and I only picked up my marker one time, just like with an M. Let's do it one more time. Okay, and big line down, hop to the top, slide down, straight line up. Okay, all right, next one is an O. Here we go. O, magic C, it's all the way around, and then stop. That's it, okay? Sometimes I see people doing this though. Okay, we wanna go again in um, counterclockwise, okay? We wanna go here like a C and all the way around and stop. Again, that's just going to help you with your writing in the long run. So I prefer that you try at least, try it my way for a little bit. And if you're still struggling, just keep at it, okay? You've got this. It's really not too bad. It just takes practice and time, okay? P. Big line down, hop to the top, one little curve. Okay, again, if you're struggling with that bump, just put a little dot right there, and then you know exactly where to stop. Okay, if you make your curve too big, just like we talked about before, it might look like a D, and that's not the letter we're looking for. And it's important that we have nice, neat handwriting so that we know what you're trying to say in your writing because we write to communicate or to talk with other people. We write so that others can read it. So nice and slow and make sure that you're practicing as you're getting started. Nice, neat handwriting is going to be important for you. Okay, Q. Q looks just like an O, but it's got a little line in it. So Q, magic C, all the way around and stop. Put a line through it. That's it. Okay, it looks like a little kickstand. Um, if you have a bicycle and it's got a little kickstand where it's got like a little stand that you can lean it over on its side so it stands up, that's what a Q looks like. Let's do it again. All right, magic C, comes all the way around and stop. Put a little line through it. Okay, R. And R is kind of a mix between a P and a K. So, big line down, hop to the top, little line to the middle, kick out. All right, let's do that one again. Again, if you're struggling with where that dot is, just put a little dot if you're struggling and it's looking a little wonky. Okay, R, big line down, hop to the top, little curve in, kick out. Okay, that one, again, just takes practice. Okay, a capital S looks just like a lowercase s. I love it. I love just seeing the language slither around and back like a snake. That's it. Okay, now I'm going to go a little slower because it can be a little tricky. Okay, it looks kind of like a little C when you slither. Okay, and then you go straight back in a curve this way. Okay, again, it's just one of those letters that takes practice, and then once you get the hang of it, easy peasy, lemon breezy. All right, T. To make it look like a capital, you do need to make sure the line is in the correct place, or it could look like an X, or it could look like a lowercase t. So you want to make sure that it's touching the top of that line. You want to have a big line down, hop to the top, and remember we go over from the left, line across, okay, little line across. If you go like this, I'm going to think that you wrote a lowercase t, or if it's tilted sideways, I might think it's a letter X. So. Make sure that it's just touching right there, okay? All right, you, just one curve up, okay? And you know what, sometimes on a capital U, I will do the little stand on the end, but technically a capital U is just one big curve up, okay, but I won't dock you or um, anything if you go like this, big curve up and then straight line down, just like a lowercase u. I don't know why I do that, but I do. But what's important with a U is that it's got a curve because a V and a W has pointy ends. So V is straight line down, climb up, okay? V has to look like a v, v valley, okay? It's gotta have that point, or again, I might think that it's a U. Oh my goodness. I think that Daniel here is wanting his own whiteboard to practice writing with you. Okay, a W looks like a V, but it's got two valleys, okay? Slide down climb up, slide down, climb up. And guess what? The lowercase w looks just like a capital W, but it's smaller. Okay, so let's do that one again. Again, this is not a w. Okay, a w has pointed bottoms. 
So slide down, climb up, slide down, climb up. At least for the purposes of this writing, just try to do it this way. It will help you with your print and making sure that things are nice and tidy. Later on, you might learn how to write things a little bit differently, but for right now, let's stick with the basics, okay? Until you become a pro. All right, X. Just like a lowercase x, slide down, then slide backwards, okay? And you do need to make sure that it crosses or it could look like, again, a T or a different letter. Okay, so let's do that X again. Slide, slide. And it is a capital X, so it should be big. Okay, that was kind of uh, small for the letters I've been writing. Okay, a Y. Okay, a capital Y is like this. Little line down, hop to the top, one big line backwards. Okay, here's another way you can write a Y that is also okay. And this is the way that I learned how to write a Y. Okay, the capital Y looks too much like a lowercase y to me, but you know what? This is still a capital Y as long as you write it big enough. I write a capital Y in print like this. A slide down, okay, hop to the top, slide down, and then one line straight down like that. That's how I write my capital Ys. It's up to you. All right, and then a capital Z it looks just like a lowercase z, but it's big. So a little line across. Okay, slide backwards, little line forwards. And again, these letters are just what um, you just need to practice and then you'll get it soon enough, okay? So again, these were all uppercase letters. Another word for uppercase is capital. Again, I did this video very, very quickly for you just as a review, but please feel free to pause if you need to. Have a piece of paper handy. Have a whiteboard and marker handy, and you can pause and practice as much as you need. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon, and I will see you very, very soon.